Hello. I've just had a bath. Slightly, slightly prune fingered. <laughs> and uh, also naked. So, what a treat for you all. Let's hope that there's nothing too reflective in all of this. <laughs> Today we have got one hour sad and emotional piano music collection playing on, on the YouTubes. So that's lovely. So another box of sparkly things today. And, but first of all, I'm sure you've all seen this, maybe on my Instagram, um, or might have mentioned it a few times in other things, but this is my Jacob, 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 Bengo uh, necklace, 1932. This is apparently made. And I just love like the construction of it and the orange bit of plastic, which is pretty cool. But yeah, 1932, so this is like 89 years old. That's why jewellery is better than Pokemon cards. Because <laughs> that's just awesome. Right, other stuff. So this bangle was in a video the other day. Uh, it's marked in the Israel 925. And I didn't end up properly dipping it. I just... Uh, Ran it over with a cloth and just to take out some of the highlights, like of those little beaded bits there and some of the edges and that. I'm still not entirely convinced that it's sterling silver. Maybe if I polished it up a little bit more, it might prove me otherwise. I mean, the tests do come up with silver, but that's, you know... It's got a silver content, I believe that. I just don't, I'm not entirely convinced that it's 925, but here we are. It's still gorgeous anyway. And 40 something grams of it. So fair play. It's quite a lot there. Another cool bangle. This is some um, reverse carved. So it's like hollowed out and then painted out in there. It's got all flowers. So like roses in there. And leaves all different colors really cool i think probably 1950s or 60s and this is probably lucite it's vintage because it's small so i'll say that it's probably like six and a half seven inch uh, circumference in there so but very very cool i do have another one as well which is this one slightly chunkier and i reckon a little bit later but that one's awesome as well, isn't it? I love these bangles, but I think this one, I think this one is more modern just because of the shape and the size inside. And then I think this one is an older one, but very, very cool. So another bracelet, we've got a few bracelets today. So this is a nice one that um, I just want to kind of warn people, not warn people off, they're lovely, they're, you know, they're very cool. There's a shop in Cardiff that are selling things very similar to this, and they are selling them as silver. And when you weigh them, they're again, yeah, about, say, 35, 40 grams. Um, and so they're pricing them up, you know, as if they were sterling silver. But they're not really. They're... Um, they might again have a silver content, but they're not silver. They've got lots of lovely stones in them though. I think there's some jasper and some, maybe some amethyst in there. I think that's jasper and probably that one. There's some quartz. That might be a bit of amber in there. Maybe some, yeah, some amethyst, rose quartz, agates, obviously. I think that one might be amber because that one feels feels like plastic so that one's probably amber i mean it's still cool but it's not silver and same with this not silver this is alpaca mexico and it is stamped just in there and it's got a black i think enamel in there or it might be some kind of semi-precious stone, I don't know, maybe like onyx perhaps, 
I'm not sure, but it is unfortunately broken there. So that bit will probably come out at some point. But yeah, not silver again, even though people do sometimes call it Mexican silver. Again, there's probably a silver content in there, but it's not sterling. Although you do find obviously a lot of Mexican items, I'm not saying pieces, and do actually end up being stamped 95 as well. So like Mex 95, you might see on some things. I've got a few rings that are like that. But anyway, I think that's a very cool design. It's a shame it is slightly broken, but I will still try and sell that because I actually think that design is really nice. Makes you, your wrist look all dainty as well with like that nice point there. I think it's cool anyway. Should we do another bracelet or something else? Let's do with something else. Oh. Okay, this necklace. I don't think it's vintage, but I just want to pull it out because I think, I think it's a very good Butler and Wilson copy. Because I'm pretty sure they do one with like two dragon's heads, um, like attached to a ring. But I think on this, the ring might be the clasp, whereas on this one, the clasp is up here, but the clasp is really nice. So it's a nice like fold over clasp. And then you pull that bit out. So. I don't know, I just, that's, that's lovely detail, you know, you know something's quality when it's got really nice detail like that, and it feels lovely, and it, the chain just, it just sits really nice, I know that sounds bizarre, there was an advert in the middle of sad piano music, how dare they put adverts, anyway, I just think it's really cool, and that one, I'm considering keeping for a little bit anyway, just because it's totally punk rock and it's blingy and it's just insane. So I love it. <laughs> okay, what else? <gasps> right. Um, I get little like uh, maple leaf, you know, like Canadian type brooches quite a lot. And I just thought this was another one that was you know, like a brush stainless steel. And it's like, that looks far too sh Oh God. Okay. That one's shiny. Hello. Hi. Uh, let's not go far too, too far down. Um, but yeah, that one has got very small. Can you see there? That one says sterling silver there. So very pretty sterling silver brooch. But that would have been quite easy to miss, really. Because it's almost too shiny to be silver. See, not ev not everything is silver. Why isn't everything silver? This, again, is another keeper for the time being. Because it is gaudy. And it's amazing. So I think this is a centipede. Would you agree? With so many crystals in it. I don't think they're glass, I think they're proper crystal. And it's amazing. And the clasp, can you see, like, is the bug head, and then these are his, like, what, antenna, I suppose? And he is eating his own arse as the clasp. So that's just lovely, isn't it? It's like the human centipede, but centipede centipede. Now, there are no marks in here whatsoever. Which, considering how really well made it is like its construction is awesome i'm really quite surprised that it's got no maker's name it's a shame if you make something this cool put your name on it maybe i'll just put my name on it but yeah i'm loving that right now so i'm keeping that for the time being just because it's fun okay what should we put up next oh a broken bit. She's a shame, isn't she? But she's so pretty. She's missing a stone there. Now, I think... I think she's silver by the way she's tarnishing. I haven't actually looked for any marks on her. But I think she is. But yeah, she deserves to be fixed. I think that's quite a pretty brooch there. And polished up. Just a little stone put in there. And I think she'll come out quite nice. What's that? Oh, 
we'll come to that in a bit. Oh, we've got a lovely set. So we've got necklace and bracelet set. Gorgeous. Look at that. So we've got some lovely sparkly rhinestones. And then some mother of pearl in there. So bracelet and lovely collar length necklace. Super gorgeous. Again, no maker's name on this. I don't think it's particularly old. I wouldn't even like to hazard a guess when. But I think that was absolutely lovely. That's proper like cocktail dress kind of way that, isn't it? I couldn't pull it off. <laughs> okay. I'll show you some named bits actually. I've got three by the same maker. And it's so weird. Well, not weird that they all come in together. I suppose they, uh, they were all donated together, weren't they? But these aren't vintage, but isn't that total like modernist, brutalist, avant-garde? Kind of design. The name is um, Sydney Caron or S. Caron. Apparently, he's French. Um, is a designer, but again, I shouldn't be doing that, should I? Because you get, uh, that's my face. Yeah. Um, but yeah, he has a studio in Paris where he makes his jewelry, and I think that one is currently on his website. Doesn't have any prices on there, but um, and there's not many on eBay that have sold. But people are looking for around 20 to 30 pounds each on them, so I don't know. Maybe 50 or 60 quid to do them all together? Not sure. But I think they're quite cool. I mean, they have a definite, like, 70s vibe about them, don't they? But no, these are modern. How bizarre. But very cool, though. Right, what's next? Oh, a little bit of Art Deco, shall we? Now, I cannot wait for my gem tester thing to appear and I'm literally just going to be testing everything, you know, testing the cat and stuff. But yeah, I want to find out what stones are so that I can recognise them easier so that I don't need a gem tester. I know that sounds bizarre, getting a gem tester so I don't need one. Let's turn that down a little bit. Um, But I want to be able to, you know, like proper jewellers do, to look at something and go, oh, that's a whatever, you know. But anyway, uh, lovely mark seat in there, Art Deco style. I don't think it is, like, actually Art Deco. It's stamp 95, it's probably... 80s or 90s um but lovely stone in there which i think might be a hematite possibly because it's like grayish black i don't know but well uh, it'd be fun finding out it might just end up being glass now but it's a lovely bracelet anyway sterling silver chain and super cool so i hope it gets you soon Right, I know what the stones in this necklace are, and that's quite an obvious one, really. I will explain why in a second, because I want it to stay attached. Oh, look at that lovely big tangle. But yeah, I know what the uh, what the stones in this one are, because it's got a Swarovski tag with a little swan, it, swan on it. So, Antwerp. Um, so yeah, there's Swarovski crystals in there. Isn't that lovely? And then there's also um, like a little crossed angle there as well. God, it just really loves being tangled to itself. But anyway, super cute, huh? On a rose gold chain. Right. The brooch. The butterfly brooch. So, nice and close for you to see. This is the Monty Don brooch. So we'll turn it over and there's a signature right there. In case you ever get one yourself. 
okay? But yeah, one sold on eBay auction earlier on this year for £139. And this one isn't currently on Etsy, but there's two other ones. And they're asking silly prices like £300. So I might just do the same. Not quite as silly as 300 maybe. But it's very cool though, isn't it? Who would have thought? An assuming butterfly. Oh, okay. Another thing that says Swarovski on the roll of a clasp here. See, so it doesn't have the swan on this one, it just says Swarovski. But I don't know if the cross is native to the chain and whether the chain was perhaps part of something else and the cross was added. I don't know. They seem to have matched the golds up reasonably well. Um, but yeah, lovely blue cross there with, I think, gold plating on it. I can't see any marks to say otherwise. But really gorgeous blue colour stone. Not quite sure what it is, if any of you guys know what that stone might be do let me know but it's a really lovely cross anyway let's pick out something else blue this i think is really cool so these are obviously chinese beads painted painted porcelain or ceramic i suppose um but they've also got a lovely close and a clasp on them as well See? But yeah, lovely painted beads, hand knotted in between. I don't know what we should say. 1940s or 50s, maybe? Maybe it's been restrung because the knots look pretty good on them. But yeah, super lovely beads, though, aren't they? Some of them can get crazy prices depending on what's actually painted on them. Really nice. There's a lot of blue here today, isn't there? Yeah. <gasps> a little bunny. I just thought he was cute. He needs a good polish up. He's got marker seat stones in there. Thankfully he's not missing any. But he does need a good polish. He's a filthy bunny. Aren't we all? Where does he want to go? I'm going to sit there. I'm going to move that out the way so we can have a little bit of space. Um, from Bunny, shall we go to Fishes? Another bit of Chinese. This is a pendant. I think it might be like a birth month, uh, birth year pendant with these two fish on it. But again, really nice, like Clausoni, and it's raised as well. So that means it's like done in layers of enamel. So really nicely done. That might maybe. Is that going to be gold in there? I don't know, that's some verdigris, so maybe not. It needs a good clean up. But I think that will shine up really nice. Again, that blue is just stunning, isn't it? I wonder what that means. I can't find anything similar to it, so who knows? I'm going to leave all the rings till last. Yeah, I'm going to show all the rings last. Another animal. Look, it's a little now. Because no jewellery haul is complete without a now. And this one is extra sparkly. And pretty cool because he is an Atwood and Sawyer owl. So, you'll get about £20-25, I think. And he's super cute. Lovely in the crescent moon as well. That's a gorgeous brooch. Right, fun rings. What should we go for first? Uh, yeah, go on then. Okay, so this doesn't fit on my finger. Oh, it's almost. Right, so a bit of sterling silver. And then what I think is a green turquoise. And it's got like, I think like a bronzy, coppery, um, like veins running through it. I can show you properly. 
What do y'all think? Now this one is stamped uh, Mex925, so this is Mexican silver. It's got a lovely thick base on it. But yeah, what do you think? A green turquoise? All of the ones that I found similar have just said green stone, which is no help whatsoever. Right, got a right Bobby Dazzler. Look at this one. This one does fit. Isn't that nice? So, lovely blue stone in the middle there. So again, can't wait to get my diamond tester and see if that is actually, you know, like a tourmaline or a topaz or a <laughs> you know? Yeah, one of them. Uh, but this is Thomas Sabo. So you might know him for his charm bracelets, but also does some quite nice sparkly rings as well. So super lovely, super sparkly. Not something I would wear. Um, because, mainly because it's rose gold and I prefer to wear silver. But that's still nice. That'll be a lovely Christmas gift. Nice for Christmas. Nice for Christmas. And then these two cool AF rings. Ha ha. How awesome are they? So some more res uh, reversed carved plastic. These would be... Oh no, it's not reverse carved. They're not carved at all. Oh, I thought they were reverse carved, but they're not. So that's in set in resin. Flowers set in resin. Maybe loose side. See, it's even got bu bubbles on them, and it's got their original <gasps> made in Taiwan stickers. So these might have even been in like gumball machines, you know? But they're so cool. Don't you think? I love them. I think they're awesome. 1960s or 70s, maybe, on them. But yeah, fab. I'll probably sell them as a pair. And then the last one, which is obviously is the best ring of all time, because it is the one ring. <laughs> one ring to rule them all, one ring to find them, one ring to bring them all, and in the darkness bind them. So, yeah, I think it is anyway. That looks pretty elven, elvish, doesn't it? I'm pretty sure it's a large one. I think I measured it, and it's a size Z, so that's... The biggest ring piece you can get. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, I think it's gold plated, and then that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's sitting on top. Like, is that raised? Or is it etched? I don't know. It's really hard to tell. It's very smooth, so I think. I think that might be on top of the plating rather than etched into it. Hmm. Makes me naked. Um, yeah, but anyway, so the Lord of the Rings ring. There we go. If it had its like original box and stuff, it would get a few quid. But it doesn't, so never mind. Anyways, that's me done. I hope I didn't flash you too much with reflective tits. <laughs> Uh, if there is anything here that you are interested in. I mean, I'm not going to be listing anything for weeks now. Um, but yeah, do message me at some point on the email address below. Um, and I can sort out a price for you. And also if you're interested um, in a mystery jewellery advent calendar or mystery bag, uh, just go to the website below as well. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and until next time, whenever that might be, uh, bye bye now. Bye bye.